Good morning everybody. We're departing from our parking spot overnight. We're going to head up towards the hotel. Um, we're going to make a brief stop along the way for me to get my breakfast because uh, timing wise I don't think that I'm going to be able to join the group for breakfast this morning. Um, I'm supposed to be at the hotel at 7.15. It's 6.48 now. Uh, it's not a huge long drive to get there by any means. Breakfast starts at 7, but I can't really sit there at 7, particularly because there's an American bus just parked right in front of the hotel overnight. Of course, he's not the first bus to leave. I am. And my bags will be down between 7.15 and 7.30, so uh, I really don't have the time necessarily to sit inside with the group and have breakfast. I am welcome to have breakfast with the group. I just don't think I really have the time to do it. Well, it's 7.35, the bags are loaded. We're ready to go for 8 o'clock. So, we'll see what happens here. This Yankee guy parked here overnight. Didn't get in trouble. It's only a 15 minute parking zone. I don't know what he was actually parked in the bus parking earlier yesterday, but maybe he left and couldn't get back in either. I don't know. This is the 417. We're headed towards Quebec City and uh, we're actually just about entering the province of Quebec. So we're going to cross now from the 417 to Highway 40. Right here, you can see, there we are, we're entered into the province of Quebec. Bienvenue à Québec. Il faut qu'on parle tous en français maintenant. Okay, maybe not. So we're going to follow Highway 40 here. This is Montreal now. We're entering onto La Métropolitaine, which is a raised highway section that goes across sort of the center part of the island of Montreal just north of downtown. You can see Mont Royal there on the right. You can see the little bump. And we are going to follow Highway 40. I'll just show you uh, one or two little clips across the city. Not Nothing too major. I kind of have to concentrate. The lanes are sort of narrow and uh, it's not a fun drive really. I try and avoid this highway as much as I possibly can. But with a tour group, sometimes, you know, going the way that I would rather go, which is maybe bypassing all this, um, they want to see some of these things that they can see from the highway. They want to know that they've gone through the city of Montreal and not through just some group of suburbs. could be almost anywhere. But here's my favorite sign. Auto Route 40 Circulation Fluide. That means no bad traffic. Sunday morning, so we were hoping that there wouldn't be any bad traffic. So now we're in the East Island, East Island of Montreal. Um, those of you who have traveled along Highway 40 will recognize this stretch. I just thought it might be interesting to show all the refineries that are right in the city. All of the island of Montreal is part of the city. These refineries are right in the city of Montreal. But we're on our way out of the city basically now. We're just about to cross off of the island. So this is what Highway 40 looks like between Montreal and Trois-Rivières. A lot of flat plains, good farmland, and very boring. But in the next clip, we're going to be going to get our lunch. This is a, a sugar shack, an arablier, as they would call them in Quebec. This is where they make maple syrup in the springtime. And we're going there for a traditional Quebecois lunch that would be served to those who are working in the, uh, in the bush during the sugaring off period. 
So we're on our way there. We're just outside of Trois-Rivières. In fact, this is actually considered part of the city of Trois-Rivières, the third largest city in the province of Quebec. And we're going to a place called Chez Dany, which is uh, just around the corner from where we are, right here. Our tour company uh, that I'm working with here has been going to this sugar shack basically since they opened. Um, probably, well, I probably went here 12 years ago. Um, they've probably been opened at least 20 years. These are typically family businesses. I'm just slowing down here trying to recall. I haven't been in this one for quite a while. Trying to recall how to get into it. And I could have gone in at that entrance. The main thing that was confusing me was whether this construction was blocking off the other entrance or not. Because this is sort of the main entrance up here. So the people are going to get off, they're going to go uh, into the sugar shack itself for an explanation of the maple syrup making process. Then they're going to come into this big building straight ahead of us and we're going to have a meal that includes French Canadian pea soup, uh, tortiere, all sorts of good things. So back we go out on the highway, and I'll give you some quick scenes of driving from Trois-Rivières along Highway 40 on the North Shore to Quebec City. Okay, so I've just been parked and uh, watch on my channel because I just did a, a video for uh, a tour of this bus for you. Um, we're on our way now back in to pick up my group. They are uh, in Lower Town. I'm going to pick them up and take them to Upper Town now. We have to time our arrival very tightly in Quebec. They don't allow us to sit in these loading zones for more than 10 minutes. So she said to be there at 4.35 and it is, uh, I should be there just a hair before 4.35. And that way, if they are ready, we can go a bit earlier. Now you may wonder what's going on here with these pylons. Out. There is a big festival, in fact there's two big festivals going on in Lower Town. Um, they have been going on now for one of them for two weeks and the other one for the last four days apparently. And so this is a bus taxi lane to help get people 
into the festival. I'm not quite sure why there isn't one to help people get away from the festival, but anyways, it's quite helpful for me because I am a bus and nobody's told me I can't use this bus lane. Um, there is one bus lane in this city that I'm not allowed to use. I know that on Boulevard René Lévesque, I am not allowed to use that bus lane in either direction. Um, it's unfortunate because it can be quite helpful to use that bus lane, but I can't use that, but I can use this one. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to show you much of this tour. Uh, again, I've done some driving around uh, Quebec City videos before. The one thing I will show you is if we can get on to the Plains of Abraham, uh, that historic battlefield site, I will do some video on the plains. Uh, we are here for one night. You'll see up ahead that uh, tall white structure. That is a cruise ship. Cruise ships come to Quebec City quite often. Very historic place. That is the MS Mazdam, which is uh, part of the Holland America Line, and it comes here every two weeks. Talk to you again soon. Okay, we're going to go out onto the Plains of Abraham, Battlefields Park. This is federal property of the Government of Canada um, that we're going to be going on. Straight ahead of us, you can see a portion of the walls, the fortifications of Old Quebec. And we're going to turn right here and then turn left and enter the battlefield itself. This is one thing I haven't done so far on any of my tours that I've done in Quebec on my videos, um, mostly because the Battlefields Park has been closed when I've been here to do those because of various things for uh, various concerts and things. So here's all the nice people blocking the intersection. Thank you very much. Oh yes, come on Fiat, come on, come on, oh come on. Yep, gonna go. Yeah, you gotta love some people. Anyways, off we go into Battlefields Park. A lot of uh, Kalesh here, as you can see, that are going to be driving people, tourists, around both through the Battlefields Park and through the city of Quebec. Fortifications are there on our left. This is where the battle between Wolfe and Montcalm, the English and the French, occurred in 1759 that altered the course of history for North America. Prior to 1759, basically almost all of what we know of Canada today was all French uh, lands. New France. But the English found a way up onto the cliffs. You'll see in a couple of moments uh, when we're at the outlook uh, just how high we are above the river, the French built Quebec City here, figuring that it would be impossible for anybody to scale these cliffs. The English eventually found a way. The English and the French were at war at that time. Um, this is all part of the Seven Years' War. And uh, the English won in 20 minutes. The actual battle took place mostly off to our, sort of our right in the, as we're driving here towards the river. Um, General Wolfe died during the battle and General Montcalm died uh, apparently on his way back to the city after the battle was over. In fact, I don't think he actually died until the next day. He was mortally wounded on his way back to the city. So here you can see the river below us. We're quite high up on the Cape of Diamonds. Now we're leaving the lookout here. This is uh, on our right. The Citadel, this is the English fort, the star-shaped fort, that the English built here uh, to defend against the Americans primarily to do with the War of 1812. So it's not uh, 
as old as the 1759 war. And it forms part of the battlements of the city of Quebec. Now we drove through the whole plains. Um, it's a lot of very pretty driving, but uh, it really doesn't accomplish a lot to, uh, to show it in the video. Just a lot of trees and hills and grass. So here we are outside the walls of Quebec City. I'm just on my way in to pick up part of the group. We finished our tour earlier. Took some of the people back to the hotel, left some of the people up here to uh, explore the old city and to get their meal. So the more adventurous stayed up here and the less adventurous uh, went back to the hotel to rest and get something to eat there. I also went and fueled the bus. Uh, 370 liters of fuel it took. And uh, came back up and got my meal. Not all the meals are included with this uh, tour company. So I'm on my own for some of the meals and I'm with the group for others. So tonight I had Saint Hubert chicken for supper. Saint Hubert is a restaurant chain that is uh, basically in Quebec. We used to have some in Ontario. Um, I think there may still be one in Ottawa and one in Cornwall, right by the Quebec border. But all the rest of them are uh, are all gone in Ontario, to the best of my knowledge. And there may be some in New Brunswick. I don't know. but it's very definitely a Quebec uh, institution. Saint-Hubert barbecue. It's a, a type of uh, rotisserie chicken. Very good, probably not very good for you. The sauce particularly is good and it's particularly probably the worst part for you. So we're here, we're gonna pick up our people. There's my friend, Samuel de Champlain, again. Pick up the people, take them to the hotel, and I'm done for the night. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're on our way to Woodstock, New Brunswick.